so today we are going to replace the USB charging port it was already replaced once but as we can see the job was not done correctly and it was not done by me other repair person did it from other company or something like that so there is a crazy play uh, it was not secured with uh, solder from the sides so it uh, it moved for three months up and down, up and down, and it got dislocated, and we can see it here. So, I removed the port, I put some flux on it to refinish the surface of these contacts to see if everything is okay there. And everything looks fine, no contacts were damaged, so that's a good luck for us. Now I'm looking at connector to see if I can reuse it, and... As we can see it was damaged, so I had to order new connectors from AliExpress. Now they have arrived extra quickly, in like two weeks, usually it takes four months. So I was pleasantly surprised. Now I am using Soderwick to remove unnecessary, uh, all the unnecessary uh, solder. Uh, I have to use 138 Celsius solder in order to solder these connections without damaging the port, USB C port. So I had to remove all the solder that was at like 400 Celsius from 300 to 400 Celsius melting point. Now, in order to mount this USB C port, uh, I have to uh, clean the mounting. Uh, positions in the PCB so that uh, the USB C port can lay flat with the PCB and so that I can reinforce it with uh, high temperature uh, solder later on. So now I have put a little bit of uh, low melting uh, solder uh, on there and I'm using a heat gun to heat the PCB part and connect USB C port with PCB. I am cleaning it around and I am now test fitting this USB C port. Uh, I usually changed ports for other laptops, not this uh, new model. This was my first time to change port on this uh, new model. And I think it went good. So I am expect um, inspecting now if uh, there are uh, short uh, shorted connections. And we can see that there are uh, two of them shorted together, so I put too much solder on there and I have to uh, readjust and remove um, extra solder from the contact points. Once I have done that, I am going to uh, place the USB C port again and reheat that uh, surface again. Now this process is consists of repeating and uh, repeating and so on so it takes some time to solder this port properly So I am reinforcing the mounting uh, metal sheet that goes through, through the PCB so that when I heat uh, this slow melting solder it will catch these uh, legs of this USB-C port uh, quickly and uh, correctly. And it's um, it, looked, it looks like it's a good tactic and i have done it now correctly i have checked the connections and everything looks fine um, everything looks like it's soldered so uh, i'm going to clean the other side and i have seen that there is a blob of solder so i'm going to make it flat just in case that it does not make some short uh, short circuit uh, if it touches uh, other metal parts now i am putting a laptop back together and I am going also to clean a cooling fan and to uh, put a new um, a thermal paste, Arctic MSH, something like that.
M6, something like that. So this part is always uh, nerve-wracking uh, nerve because there is too much connections on this USB-C port. Everything, anytime, can go wrong. So I'm going to put everything back together and I'm going to test if this uh, USB-C port is correctly mounted. I'm going to plug in the USB-C uh, okay, uh, power supply. I did not put the battery, I just wanted to see if fan is going to spin and it spins. So I'm now going to reassemble everything and I'm going to turn on the laptop. Now since I have removed the CMOS battery, uh, it will need a couple of minutes in order to read all the setup of embedded controller and BIOS so that it will boot. So everything is back together, I expect NVMe uh, disk, I just wanted to make sure that everything works fine before I put that in there because it has personal data of customer. And as we can see it is charging and it is soon going to put uh, UEFI BIOS screen. Uh, Everything is fine, so I'm going to reassemble it uh, to clean the fan and then reassemble everything back together. Now this fan is fixed. Uh, I can uh, open it up and clean it uh, properly and then uh, hot glue, uh, super glue uh, back the cover, but it is time consuming process and I have cleaned it uh, relatively good uh, without opening it, so it's X6 and X Arctic X6, something like that. Thermal paste. Now everything is back together, since this laptop was disassembled uh, lot of, lots of times, uh, I had to put some extra screws in there that were missing. And now every screw is screwed in correct place and correct length. So I'm going to turn on the laptop now. Uh, I forgot to mention that I have already charged this laptop for 2 hours or something like that on this new USB-C charging port, so it is charging fine. Now I'm cleaning the laptop. Just because I have to contact the surface of the laptop, I don't want, uh, I like it to be clean, for my experience. So now I am testing if the USB-C port is working correctly, and as we can see it is charging, and it has a wibbling room, but uh, it is not moving on the PCB board. So, see you in the next video, thank you for watching.